Hi everybody, how's it going? This morning we're going to do one of my warm-ups. So I've been going through a lot of Shiro lately and just retracing his original uh, pages. I think I'm going to kind of keep the Ghost in the Shell thing going. And I'm just going to keep doing page after page of Ghost in the Shell. Uh, this is the... This is the original one. The, there's three of them. And uh, it's pretty big. So we'll see how much I get through. Uh, this is the page that we did. You'll be able to see it in frame. Um, as I was setting up my camera this morning, I thought, man, I look like I just rolled out of bed and started drawing. I look so haggard and tired and worn out. And that's true. And I want you to... And I thought I should shave before I do this. I should shower and change, maybe put on a collar shirt. I thought, no, I want you to see what it feels like to try <laughs> and redraw all those little lines and little things that Shiro does. And that's so you can feel and you can see how like much work it is. So without further ado, page, I think it's page three. Because the first page is like a bunch of buildings. So I was like, ah. So page three of Shiro, Masamune Shiro's Ghost in the Shell manga. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's nice, the horizontal. My friend Dan said, you should do it horizontal. So, so that's page three. You can see there's a lot going on. This is, um, might be familiar. Anyone has seen the movie, the Mamoru Oshii directed animated film. Uh, this is kind of similar as the opening sequence. So that blue line went really fast. Now I'm doing another blue line just to kind of, um, this one's a little more saturated. Um, he's got all these lines. So like everything's so carefully choreographed, like the coffee table and everyone leans in. So you look right at that guy in the center who's talking and, um, it's just amazing. To me as I'm drawing you really don't notice all the little things that they put in these things until you have to copy them like oh there's a little coffee cup up there and then there's the plant and then there's all the lines on the floor and then um, just even their faces and then like I mean her pouches and folds in her outfit is oh you can't see the bottom um, her hands at the bottom I spent a lot of time on her hand all those little pipes, you know. I know that he has assistants. These guys usually have assistants, so it's possible that, you know, Shiro just draws the the characters and the layout. His stuff's so cartoony, you know, especially if you if you're first That guy looks like he doesn't have a butt. Um If Ghost in the Shell the animated thing was the first thing you saw. The manga comes across as kind of cartoony, like um, the chief there. It looks a little... That's him, but it is kind of cartoony. Just the machinery. And I roughed out, I mean, obviously the stuff on the manga is so detailed. Oh, it's tragic. This looks like it's going so fast. This. I, I think it took me an hour. Because I was listening to this guy Skillop. He does these video game reviews. And it was Monster Hunter World, and it was like a 50-minute review plus another one. So, but I, that's it. <laughs> that was quick. So, I think this is really good exercise for me. I'm gonna keep going because I know there's a lot of fans of Ghost in the Shell. I love Ghost in the Shell. I've read all the mangas. I've seen all the movies. I've seen all the TV shows. Um, but Shiro is just such an exquisite um, draftsman. Uh, storyteller from like panel to panel just the stuff that he does uh it's too bad that he doesn't do that anymore i think he just does a lot of pinups now unless i'm mistaken anyone on the internet want to correct me um but he's already done so much there's so much there's plenty to enjoy so that's it so um i'm gonna keep doing this as warm-ups so hope you enjoy Remember, you can read my webcomic, Scared by the Bell, at www.scaredbythebell.com. And, of course, remember to make your comic.